So here I am on my Windows desktop. I've logged in as a user to Office 365 into the portal. I've then selected the OneDrive option from the menu bar at the top and I'm now looking at my standard OneDrive where I can start to uh, upload documents and to save my personal documents. Now the first way that I can get documents in here is I can create a new document. So if I select the new button here You'll see that I can create basically any Word, uh, any Microsoft Office style document. So I'll select Word, I'll go in there and I will add some text and you'll see that as that text is typed it is saving it for me in the background here. So once that is saved, is completed, I can then for example go back to my OneDrive. What I will then see is I will see this one document that I have created. So again, if I want to see a preview of that, I simply hit the ellipse and you'll see a preview listed up here. I can then edit, share and follow, but I also have a number of additional options available to me by selecting the second um, ellipse. Now what I can do to view that document is because it is a uh, an Office document, I can simply click on it and I'm taken back into Office Online in view mode. If I want to edit that document, I simply select that option from the menu and you'll see that I can edit in Word or I can edit in Word Online, which I have already done to create the document. So what I'm going to do is I will select to edit in Word. This will download a copy uh, of the file to my local machine, uh, basically launch Word and allow me to now go in and add some additional text. Okay, so I've updated that document. If I now save the document, it will then save it directly back to my OneDrive. I simply close Word, and if I go back to my OneDrive in the browser, and then click on that document, you will see that the text that I've just added in Word has now appeared in that document. Um, so that is currently all up to date. So that's the first way we can get documents into OneDrive for Business. We can create them on the fly. Our second option is to select Upload. So the Upload op menu option here, we can go in and we can browse for the file that we want to upload. So we can do them one at a time. So if I go just the general index there, go OK, you'll see in a moment that it has uploaded that file. Again, if I select, select the ellipse, you will see that I get a preview of the document because it is an Office document and all those options are then available to me as before. Now what I can do is if I go back into Upload, I also have the option to select this here which allows me to upload multiple files using Windows Explorer. So if I select that option, it will then take a moment and pop up Windows Explorer which will be mapped directly to my OneDrive for Business um, location. So here we see that uh, this is basically my document location here in OneDrive in Windows Explorer. So you'll note the URL uh, across the top here. So the HTTP address, personal, and then OneDrive and documents. So now that I have Windows uh, Explorer, what I can now do is I can, for example, drag and drop, uh, let's say these, uh, these four files. So I can simply drag and drop them into um, my location here in uh, OneDrive for Business and that will then update them for me uh, via Windows Explorer and then also into uh, OneDrive for business in the cloud. So obviously the amount of time it takes to transfer these files will depend on your internet connection speed. So again, I've copied these documents up there. You'll see that they now appear in the uh, OneDrive location. So if I minimize that and cancel that and then go back and refresh this location, you'll see that I now have the option um, that all the files that I have now uploaded now appear in there. So again, simple and easy um, to get those files up there, doing a multiple upload, selecting that option. Now the third option we've got here is we can go into Sync. Now what Sync will do is it will want to synchronize using the OneDrive for Business Desktop app. Now the OneDrive for Business Desktop app is a free app that can be downloaded from Microsoft and installed on current workstations. So I'm going to select to synchronize that library. What it's going to do is basically take a copy of this library and put it in a location on my local desktop. So again, that will be the location. You'll see that it's now syncing those files in the background, downloading that to a location that I can now work on. So that is complete. So if I show my files, 
This again will pop up Windows Explorer. You'll notice that under my favorites, I now have a OneDrive um, icon. And in here, these are the list of files that are on my OneDrive. So again, if I go into a document here, double click on this. So this is the synchronized version. So it will open as we did before. And we can add the text and again save it. So once we save it, now what it is doing is actually saving to uh, this uh, local synced area. So it's saving it into the OneDrive synchronization area and then what it will do is it will update that information to OneDrive in the background. So rather than saving direct as we did before, what's happening now is it's saving to a location which is then synchronized in the background. So if I go back to my browser and I refresh this, then uh, I will then go into that document I just edited via uh, my OneDrive for Business, and you'll again see that those changes that I made on the desktop have been replicated all the way directly through to the cloud. So now I know all my documents are up to date. Now, what you'll notice here is, is obviously we can use these larger buttons, but if we go up to the library tab up here, we also have the option to open with Windows Explorer. So if I select this, this is very much like doing the multi-uploads as we did before. This will pop open a Windows Explorer mapped directly to our OneDrive for business. So there it is there. As you can see, it's now mapped it directly to our OneDrive, uh, OneDrive for business since we've installed that client. And again, we can uh, basically go in here and we could take a list of documents. So let's take uh, maybe these last two here. Um, we can copy those and then if we go to that map location and then paste that, you'll see that those documents will be copied to that location. So remember in this case we've mapped directly to OneDrive for Business. We're not caching them, we're saving them directly up to um, the web, up to the website. And then what we'll get here in a minute is, if we have a look here, we'll see that in a minute or two, those documents that we just added will be uh, synchronized back here to our desktop. So again, if we go back to our browser while that's syncing, so let me just uh, do that, and let's just ref refresh that. And what we should see is an additional two um, documents now appear. So if we have a look here, we'll see those documents um, are now visible. And like I said, in a minute or two, if we, for example, go out here, then backdrive to OneDrive for Business, we should see that update with all those other documents. So you'll now see that the two documents that we added, the South and the Wikis, has now appeared. They've been synchronized to the desktop. So now we can work on these at any point in time. So again, just in summary, uh, quick ways to get documents up into OneDrive um, for business. First option is, is you can create uh, new documents, new uh, Office documents on the fly um, using Office Online. You can then also upload a single document by simply browsing to it. You can upload the files directly using Windows Explorer, so drag and drop mentality, or you can go into uh, Sync, which will uh, want to install OneDrive for Business desktop app. Once that has been installed, what you'll find is you will have a OneDrive for Business location on your local desktop with synchronized files matching the ones in your OneDrive. So anything you update here will be updated to the web and likely, likewise anything updated in the web will be updated to your desktop so you can work offline. So really, that's how easy it is to work with OneDrive for Business. That's how easy it is to start getting documents up there to start moving your information into the cloud. Hope you've got some information out of that video and thank you very much for watching.